it's not difficult. Uh, I haven't found it difficult morally or ethically because I view my responsibilities as being clearly defined, not only by procedural rules, substantive rules, but by the, the ethical guidelines. And quite frankly, I have had clients, I've represented clients who, my per who I personally thought were guilty of one or more of the offenses they were charged with. Um, not necessarily all, but I always take comfort in our system, and, and I do. Uh, I'm a big believer in our system, and my, my, my father instilled that uh, into me. Every, just about every day uh, at work, at some point during the day, I'll think about uh, the foundation of our system and the fact that we've had people go to foreign countries and die to preserve our system, our way of life. The fact that we're, uh, uh, we have a system where we're not a, uh, a government of men, we're a government of laws. So it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter, it shouldn't matter whether or not you're rich or poor, it shouldn't matter what race you are, it shouldn't matter what ethnicity you are, it shouldn't matter what religion uh, you, you aspire to or adhere to, and it shouldn't matter what your gender is. Uh, and in the criminal context, that is, if the government thinks you've committed a crime, they file charges, we go in a court of law where we're supposed to have a fair and impartial playing field. And the jury's going to listen to the evidence and decide whether or not you're guilty beyond a re reasonable doubt and all that stuff, other stuff shouldn't matter. I mean, I take that to heart. And uh, when I get a case where the facts may bother me, I always go back to that. You know, it's kind of my bedrock. A belief in the system. It's not perfect. Uh, but, you know, our founding fathers, I think, tried to strike a balance between individual freedom, individual liberty, and the, and the power of the government. And it might not be a perfect balance. Uh, um, I always, one of the things I like to say is, hey, our founding fathers weren't soft on crime. You know, they had other concerns. And uh, we have a criminal justice system that operates within uh, that area where they had concerns. And that was trying to balance individual freedom and liberty uh, against the power of the government. But it's not a perfect system. I'd be the first to admit it. But I haven't seen a better one. And, and you know, I, I certainly believe in it. If everything happens the way it's supposed to happen.